Hey party people, Brianna here and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, wait, I have a special guest from Little Miss Rosie. Say hi. Okay, she's not interested. But anyways, today, as you can see by the title, we're going to be talking about finding your purpose. Because I feel like, well, at least as a 20-something year old girl, um, like this is always like since I was like a kid, this has been like the big question. Like what is my purpose in this huge world? And that can be such a daunting question and it can really just send you into an existential crisis like what is my purpose why am I here and I personally think like one of the meanings of life is to find your purpose and to just go with it and the beautiful thing about finding your purpose is that you might have more than one you might not even know your purpose yet your purpose right now could be to find your purpose and go on this journey of self-discovery like I think sometimes we could have more than one purpose but personally I was able to figure out what my purpose is and I know I have one but it's it's just something that you'll feel deep down within you and you'll just know that that's what you're meant to do and okay, so how do we find our purpose? Well, I would say it's different from finding a passion per se, but the two are kind of tied into one. So think about it like this. Let's start from it from a standpoint of figuring out your passions, okay? And you're going to want to get deep. And this just isn't something that you can really do in one day. Like there's a lot that kind of builds up to it and like self-reflection and thinking about things. And you know what? That's okay. Like you're not meant to find your purpose in a day. Well, maybe some of you are, but it's like, it's a whole beautiful journey. So it's quite important to just allow yourself time to figure it out. Um, so yeah, when finding your passion, you look for things that make you feel good stuff that you genuinely enjoy doing for yourself or and maybe for others as well but just for yourself think about what makes you happy now a passion doesn't just have to be a hobby you know like maybe you love like complimenting people and you like making other people feel good and feel happy maybe you like helping other people and maybe it is a hobby. Maybe your passion is sewing or something. And once you kind of might have an idea on what your passions are, and it's okay if you don't. That's just, I find, to finding your purpose, the best place for you to start is to find your passions. Figure out, or your passion, figure out what makes you feel good, what makes your heart and soul feel warm. When you do something like this, it'll make you think, I could see myself doing this for the rest of my life. And it feels good, it feels right, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so once you, and if you don't have your passion, that's okay. If you don't know what it is, that's absolutely okay. You can take your time to figure it out. And once you know, you can come back to this video later. But I think the first step is finding your passion. But you can continue listening if you want. So once you know what your passions are, then you can really think about it as like, is this a passion or is this a purpose? You know, I feel like a passion is something you do for yourself, right? A passion is something you do for yourself and others, but a lot of it's for yourself, right? And then finding your purpose is doing something that you like but helps others or helps the world or the environment. Like, that's kind of the difference between the two. A passion is something that's usually for you for the most part. But when it becomes a purpose is how your passions and what you care about can impact the world right so let's say you like sewing but you that's just you that's what you like right and you don't really want to share that with the world you just want to keep it to yourself right but you have this 
joy for like maybe you run a volunteer like ocean cleanup crew and it's something that you're also passionate about and you are so passionate about making this community of people helping clean up our oceans and you feel like you want to do that for the rest of your life and you feel called to that to helping this group of people but it also makes you feel happy like that's a purpose in comparison to a passion or maybe you really like sewing and you want to be able to sew garments to maybe accommodate for everyone's sizing maybe you want to be able to help people feel good in their own skin and you want to be able to offer tailoring services maybe for an affordable price so that it can be available to everyone maybe you want to teach other people how to tailor because you want everyone to feel comfortable in their own clothes in their own skin and that's how you put a passion into a purpose but remember like it has to feel right to you like you want to think about like this feels right this makes my soul feel happy it makes my heart like flutter with joy and I could see myself doing this for the rest of my life like that's the sort of thing and you'll know when you figure out your purpose and it'll kind of just click and it's a really beautiful thing because you'll have this guidance of how you can go about your life. It'll kind of be like if you're feeling down, it's kind of this support beam to hold you back up and figure out what you're meant to do. And I think finding your purpose is kind of figuring out how you fit into this world, figuring out your place in this world. And you'll know once you find your purpose, you'll know. And for some people, it's like this huge, big thing. You're like, yes, my purpose. I know what it is now. I'm going to go right after it. And for some people like myself, it was just like this. At first, it's like this beautiful thing, like blooming in your chest. You just feel really, really good. And you just want to smile that you figured it out and you know it's going to happen. And you feel good about what you're doing. And it could be both as well. And I think just finding your purpose is such a beautiful thing. And remember, like, it could take you some time to figure it out. And that's absolutely okay. And you could have known it from a very young age. I mean, I knew what I wanted to do from a very young age. But it took me, like, a while to kind of piece it together and figure out, like, how, like, oh, wait, that's actually my purpose, right? And it's important to do listen to yourself. And maybe what your purpose, you're thinking your purpose is, maybe it's like something unconventional. And I want to say that don't let outside like societal implications stop you from doing you, okay? Don't let those, don't let society get in the way, okay? You know what you want to do and you go do it. Go make your place in this world, okay? Yeah. Okay. Hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Yeah. See you next time. Bye-bye.